Uh, while they're getting ready, I'd like to call uh, Richard Jackson up from the, uh, from the Tongas dancers from Ketchikan. Sometimes when somebody does a good, kind deed for you, we have a tendency to forget these kind things that somebody does for you. And uh, I do not want to do that. I do not want to forget uh, what uh, this man, when we were invited to catch a can to take part in the total brazen, uh, he put a shelter over my head. He gave me a bed to sleep in. So I would like to thank him in public. Thank you. Thank you, Paul. I'd like to comment on this is the first time that uh, the Tan De Kwan has participated in a celebration of our heritage. And this year I watched Paul Jackson and Paul Marx do a fabulous job for the welcome they did for Tan De Kwan. Housing, transportation, accommodating us here, uh, just facilitating, doing a, a great job. I'd like to uh, ask you guys to give them a round of applause for a job well done. Uh, the Tungus Kwan is uh, ready to begin now.
I'm getting old, I'm getting shorter. I want to thank you, see Alaska, for inviting our group here. Uh, the group is fairly new. They are learning to dance. They were excited coming up here to perform for you. They, they know it's a privilege for them being they are one of our people are very near the border of, of Canada, where our people, my, my grandparents, my mother was born. And the Kanahadi we have here, their people were born there too. And then we settled in Ketchikan, Ketchikan she was from there. The Tongas Islands name is Dasahak Akkoz Ti Akhtla Kalkin. I'm alone with uh, my children now. I don't have any more uncles. And I'm trying hard to bring this to them to learn. And like I say, it's a privilege. A person like me don't speak a long time ago. We didn't have, we didn't speak in public like this. They had people to speak. But like I said, we don't, I don't have any more. They're all gone. So I'm trying hard to train my boy to stand up and do the work that someday I will be laying down for them to carry on. Gunashish shout at Nagi, who han so he hook ye hat ye. Our next is the Eagle Song. I composed this, I composed several of these songs. Like I said, we didn't have, we had, we, we have some songs, but we, we, I composed these for them, and it seems to go very good for them. They liked it, so it, it's, it's a good song. Instead of the raven walking towards his eagle, the eagle's walking towards the raven, that's what the song is saying.
talking about our where we came from. My mother always told us this, that we had some people up in Yakutat, the Equates from Dasahuk went up there. As she told us they were still there, the Tequedi tribe. We remember this. My children know it too. So those of you that are the tribe, Tequedi tribe from Yakutat, you are our people. We want you to know that. My mother told us this many times. Don't forget who you are. Our next is the bow and arrow dance. As I said yesterday, or day before yesterday, these dances, this dance is danced a little bit different in each community down our way. Uh, we do it our way. They do it their way, but it's all one song. And it's about a, a boy that went out hunting for deer, and he was very successful. He brought it home, and they had a joyous time because they had the deer to eat and the sisters are dancing with them. Part of our group went back home this morning. They were left about 5.30. So we don't have any of our children with us, but we're happy to see Cape Fox kids here. Their fathers are here with them, helping me dance. They're my city. They are my people, and they come to my aid when I need them. And uh, of course, the Wrangell, we're always happy to have them. They're always welcome in our group. They're always there to give us a helping hand. And uh, we have last, yes, the other day, I didn't introduce her. Uh, she's uh, my grandfather's nephew's daughter. What? Sarah Wacker. Sarah Wacker lives in, in Douglas now. She has a home there. Come out, Sarah Wacker. Show yourself. She's half Tonga's tribe. Give her a hand. <laughs> We're happy to have you, Sarah. And our next is the Owl Song, which is part of the Potlatch Song. This is mostly done by the women, but the men participate in it, too. Are you hey? <coughs> Are you hey? You hey?
Our little little girls that dance this dance are gone. So we have to, I guess, borrow the big girls to do this dance. This is the Anna Hayes song. It's a Chinook song. It's sung by the Haidas, the Simpsons are singing it now, and uh, we sing it. It's about money. I, I was told it's about a 50 cent piece. I don't know Chinook, but I sing the song. On the head, 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 on the on the head, 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 on the We'll do the Gay One's Love Song. I have to tell you my Clinket name. I never told you my Clinket name yet. <laughs> my name, Tasye Yuchatuasak. Te Kwedeyakat Hutsitak.
Chris. Since uh, Richard said thank you to his people, you better say thank you to, for inviting us here. Yes, no prayers. This is Chris Makua. It's my sister's grandson from California. He is a uh, Hawaiian clinket. He knows. <laughs> He'll tell you who he is in Clinkett. I hope he knows it all. <laughs> and then thank the people for inviting me. My name is Chris Maku. I'm a Tangas. Take away the hoots hit. My Indian name is Koktish. As a tribe, we want to thank you. Gunashchish. And as a family man, my family and I, we thank you. All of these people on stage are, are my relatives in the way of, of our people. And in the way of location, we're all neighbors. But here, we're all brothers, sisters, aunties, and uncles, and grandparents. And I thank all of you for viewing us in a good way. In our Tongas group, we have uh, a girl here with her four children, uh, Irene uh, Frank. She's Joyce Frank. I made a mistake. Joyce, will you come out and take a bow? She's David Guthrie's daughter. I think some of you remember David Guthrie. We're going to give the, a giveaway song. We're giving us a. We're giving us a.
practicing, we call this a chief song. We're seating the chief. We, I did this song myself also. You might not, not even recognize this song at all. You probably think, where did this song come from? Well, it came from us. We're seating the chief. We are saying, you nachate, you nachate. are happy to have Steve with us, Steve Brown. Uh, give him a hand. He's a good dancer. <laughs> we uh, have the bird song. The, this is uh, danced by the boys and the men. It's the raven and eagle dancing together. We're going to sing a fun song. This is our, my cousin's song. She's not with us anymore. Uh, her name was uh, Emma Hogberg. Her clinket name was Sean. She was my first cousin. She used to sing this when she was happy. We'll sing it in Tlingit and then we'll sing it in English. Just boil fish, just boil fish, I ate. 
I believe when she was with us, we were always laughing. She was a, she was a comedian of our group. No matter what it was, whatever we were doing, she was always happy and making us laugh. And I know that if she knew we were singing her song, she probably had a smile on her face wherever she is. Now we'll do the Raven song that you folks have up here. We, we borrowed it from you. Uh, we may not sing it just as well, but we sure try hard, and I know the group likes this song. It's a catchy song, and they enjoy it, and I know you folks enjoy it too. Tomorrow is Memorial Day, and our next song we're going to do is in memory of the veterans or the men and armed forces that passed away in wars. Very difficult on my personal level. I'm a veteran, a combat veteran. And the song is being sung by the women, for the women the tribe who lost sons and the grandparents. So here is the memorial song dedicated to tomorrow, Memorial Day. This song, I did this song to you. I sang it for my son that I lost. It means Ishan Achit e ishan, iti nakayati achit e. Achwakhin ikawada achit e. This is for all the boys, all the boys that we have lost. Thank you. 
I would like to say how much we enjoyed the Hawaiians that came here to entertain us. I really enjoyed it. I, I loved their songs. And uh, when I first heard them that evening, I was all uptight about children and everybody else. When you come to doings like this, I guess you go through, all those instructors go through the same thing. There's always something wrong and you have to worry about it and you're uptight and you're trying to unwind and here they were and they were singing and it just put me at ease and I just want to tell them how much we enjoyed their singing and their dancing and we were very much happy to see them. Now our Going out, we are happy to be here to entertain you. I hope you have enjoyed yourself also. Okay.
The Tongass dancers from Ketchikan, I believe they uh, neglected to mention that Esther Shaw is their leader and teacher.